Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. We have the very last piece of the Commands and Colors puzzle. This is something I actually ordered um, when I originally bought the Commands and Colors stuff. I ordered the core game and the Spanish, uh, Austrian, and Russian expansions and Miniature Market, who I got it from, was out of it at the time, so they had to refund me. Um, I finally now got the Spanish Army. I have literally never seen the inside of this box. It is a standard two-inch box and, of course, is an expansion for Commands and Colors Napoleonics designed by Richard Borg and published by GMT Games. Um, this has been out for eons, and I just got caught up on it because I've just, you know, remembered how much I like Commands and Colors Napoleonic. Uh, I'm not necessarily as big a fan of all of the different Commands and Colors games, but I do like this one very much, and all of them are well designed. Um, so we have a thick-sided two-inch box here. We have a big bag of blocks, and the the I'm not sure if it just looks like this because of the light. And I'm also not sure if you're going to see quite the, the vibrant, we'll call it, shade of yellow that has been chosen for the Spanish army. Um, it is traffic cone yellow. So let's see what we get here. So we get a book, expansion number one, the Spanish army. So traditionally with these things, there's a little guide, a few pages of special rules at the beginning, some discussions of the different Spanish units, um, and a new game mechanic. In this case, Guerrilla Action is the Spanish special ability. Everybody gets a special ability except for the French and the British and the Portuguese. Um, for the Spanish, it is Guerrilla Action. And we have, of course, scenarios here, which I assume, we're going to find out in a second, will all be from the Peninsular War, which is that part of the Napoleonic Wars that takes place in Spain or on the Iberian Peninsula. Parts of it are in Portugal, um, and which is a very interesting topic. Um, and it is kind of ignored because for the most part, Napoleon himself was not there. Um, Napoleon kind of came in at some point, won a couple of battles, declared victory, and then had to run away to do other things. Um, and it was left to his marshals to manage the rest of the war. And his brother, Yosef, um, who was not the cream of the Bonaparte family, let's, let's put it that way. So, we have the, the, the Balien scenario. Uh, there's always a really good scenario selection here. Uh, Zornoza, 1808 so far. Gamanal. I am undoubtedly going to mispronounce many of the names. I apologize to my Spanish viewers. Espinoza de los Monteros. Um, Somiosera. Somosierra. Uh, Medellin. Alcañiz. Maria. Talavera. Talavera is one of the big battles of the Peninsular War. Um, Tamames. Uh, Talavera is one of the ones that has gotten its own game a couple of times. It's one, uh, it's one of the few. Um, Ocaña. Oh, another Ocaña. This is, this is the 18th, the cavalry action. And this is the 19th. Um, Alba de Tormes. Barosa, Albuera. Vitoria, San Marcial. At Ordal Cross. Uh, this takes place not... Ooh, actually all of these. Um, so some of these are 18, as late as 1813. Um, so Commands and Colors um, is a game system that I like a lot and I haven't really paid much attention to for the last several years just because I've been occupied with other stuff. Uh, but I got set up to run it at Origins and we had a great time. We have some cards here. Here are two terrain effects charts. Here is a Spanish army card, which tells you what the Spanish units, how the Spanish units behave. Um, here's another one with some French units. And we have two cards of, of one of terrain tiles, which looks like nothing new terrain tiles, as far as I can tell. Um, and then another card with the Spanish square card, Spanish victory banners, and square tokens, and the guerrilla action markers. This one's bowed a little bit. I think we're just going to put it at the bottom of the box for a while. And then we have several sheets of stickers. Mm, and a half sheet of stickers, actually. So there's three and a half sheets here. Uh, they're all different, too. So every every set contains more French. 
Um, I'm not sure why, because I feel at this point, with the possible exception of line infantry, that I have more than enough French blocks, but I, they've, they're giving me more, so... Um, and we can see here we have Spanish light cavalry, Spanish heavy uh, cuirassiers, Spanish grenadiers, Spanish light infantry, and then we're into the French, and then we have some Spanish artillery here. Um, generally speaking, the dynamic in, uh, it wouldn't surprise me, I wonder if there's British in any of these battles, because the, the British did fight in, in some of this Peninsular War stuff. Um, I'd be curious to go back through the scenarios to find that out. So anyway, now we're having trouble closing the box because of this giant bag of blocks here. We're going to have to deal with this um, one way or another soon. Uh, we're about to have a lot more containers of blocks. So Commands and Colors Napoleonics, the first expansion, the original expansion for the Spanish army. Um, here it is in the Arbol Star Library at last. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you have found this video informative, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to help support our Wolf's Lair, please do so by looking at the Patreon, the merch store, and the Ko-Fi links that are in the video description. Again, thanks for watching, and until next time, happy wargaming.